Well, as we said earlier, we're here in downtown Charleston and we're right amongst all the major hospitals in the area and what a wonderful project the B Street Courtney Drive project was and uh, now it's completed and I'm going to be talking with Debbie Datoma and she is project manager for Charleston County Roadwise and after she and I talk for a while I'd like to move over to Paul Capps who's with Gulf Stream Construction Company and he's responsible for the building. Well it worked, it's done. It's done. A lot of work went into this, didn't it? Yes, ma'am. What was the problem here? Um, the problem was there's thousands of patients and medical employees and medical students that travel these roads every day, and we needed to improve the traffic flow for them, and we also needed to improve the drainage for them. Well, well, there's not much you can do because you're squeezed in down here, it seems, with all these buildings and the like, and I'm going to find out from Paul exactly what did go on. But uh, were there drainage problems, or what sort of issues were here? There are severe drainage problems in this area, and in fact, a lot of times when it rains really hard and, and the tides are high, people won't even go down these roads because their cars will stall out. There's a parking issue here as well. Did you provide for any parking on street, or is it mostly in the various parking shelters or centers? Um, just in the parking centers, we didn't do any new parking improvements for this project. How long were you planning to uh, do this project? Is this something that the counties wanted to do for a long time? Yes, it is, and this project actually stayed um, on time and under budget. So um, Gulfstream did a great job in keeping the project moving, even with, you know, they ran into a lot of unforeseen conditions, and they did a great job. Now, what, what sort of road or what sort of material is under this road? Uh, I noticed that it's been repaved as well, or resurfaced, I yeah. should say. But what were you working with under there? Um, the soils are extremely poor. They're they're very wet and, and very poor. And um, we had to come up with a different game plan than what we typically use for these roadway projects. We usually use a standard aggregate base course. We use this um, special lightweight fill material, which is actually lighter than water, to hold, um, just so the road would not settle. We had to use something lighter to hold the bearing capacity of the vehicles. Do you think you'll have to come back here anytime soon to, to rework this road? I don't. I think they did a great job and, and we're all happy with it. Well, so. I'm sure the public is happy as well. I'm going to turn to Paul Capps and he is project manager for Gulfstream Construction Company and boy he had quite a team that worked on this project. How do you feel about getting it finished? I feel great, and the, and, the, and the all the people that involved. We had tons of great uh, team members on the on the project, and uh, I know they're really happy. Well, Debbie was saying that there were drainage problems and uh, maybe a little widening that needed to take place here and there. Can you sort of tell us what you did to improve some of those issues she talked about? Well, we we had our hands full downtown Charleston, and people that live here and, uh, and enjoy the area know it's it's really a, a great area. It's busy, a lot of people in a small area and uh, we had to put very big pipes in this small area very deep and there's tons of people uh, walking uh, the park here um, thousands in the morning and thousands in the afternoon and and uh, trying to keep the traffic flowing the the people walking safe and trying to get some work done was was a challenge and it was a challenge at the start and it was a challenge the whole duration um, but you know it, it's over it's, it's done and I think everyone's glad and, and it worked out good for us and and we're, we're glad to be done and glad that everyone's happy with it. Well, almost, I'm sure they are. Almost all projects have to deal with utilities. Lots of utilities underground. Was that a problem for you? Oh, yeah. There, there was um, tons of utilities. Uh, everyone, uh, power, gas, water, cable, TV, phone, communications in between the hospitals. And they all are, you know, their own little company and stuff. And when they weren't, you know, they, they have to come down here when something like this happens. Uh, they're on, they're in the in the state right away, and and they have to relocate or move or adjust. And uh, it's a challenge for them, just like it's a challenge for us to build all this. It's a challenge for them to kind of, you know, work with what they have and, and work with what we're trying to do, and then keep everyone moving. Everyone, nobody wants to be without water, phone, power. And, uh, you know, it's a, it's a big deal to keep everything moving and at the same time build something totally new in the same space. Did anybody lose water, lights? Um, uh, there was a few times <laughs> where uh, there was a few outages, um, but uh, those were held to a minimum. And uh, I believe, uh, you know, everyone, uh, the, definitely, I don't think there was ever a time when anyone's out of power. Maybe a little time, there was a little outage here or there now with water or phone, but everything else stayed stayed running. I noticed that the red lights have changed here, and there's some nice lamps 
along the street, B Street especially. Uh, was that something new? Yes, that was something that was part of the project. The county and the city and the state, they did, uh, they were responsible for the plans and they designed uh, the traffic signal system with the new mast arms, which is which is kind of the thing now and especially in the, it's been the thing down here for a while, but I think it's catching on in other areas as well. The, the mast arms are at Cannon and, uh, Cannon and Courtney and Courtney and B, the new mast arms with the all the pedestrian lights and uh, the timers for the pedestrians and all that. I also noticed that uh, the street's been resurfaced, all of them in this area, and also there seem to be walkways and uh, walkmen. People are able to push buttons and get across the street quickly. Yes, uh, they have the 10 foot wide uh, crosswalks, and uh, that was a challenge. There's a lot of people walking down here. Um, this, is a, this is a huge new parking garage that we're standing next to, and it holds a lot of employees down here at MUSC. And, and, uh, and uh, they come off, they come down here to work and they, and they walk to their place. And uh, it was a challenge keeping them safe yeah. and moving. And I know some of them had to take some extra long, you know, a little different route. And, uh, and uh, I know some days they probably felt like well, nothing was being done. Uh, sometimes it appears that way when things are happening underground, you can't see it. But that underground work is what takes so long. And uh, hopefully, uh, I, I think it was, it was somebody always down here and everyone's pleased. How long a project was this? Uh, we started in May of last year and we opened up all the roads in late March, a little bit of 1st of April, so less than a year, uh, 11 months. Paul, on B Streets, something really great has happened because Charleston floods a lot. B Street's high and dry right now uh, and, and it stays that way when it rains now. Uh, B Street historically has been a really wet road, has been probably a foot deep at some times and uh, the road was raised, the engineers designed it to raise, and uh, we put in a big drainage system. Actually, they designed for the future. Charleston County uh, got with the city of Charleston, and they incorporated the future drainage that's not been done or uh, not quite getting going yet, but there's pipes under this B Street that can be utilized. They're plugged right now, uh, but they're down there, they're under there, and they can be tied in for future use. Uh, so we won't have to dig the road up again because nobody wants to do that. And I think you did say earlier there was some widening that happened here too. Yes, Courtney Street was was widened, so there's two lanes and a turn lane in this, these two city blocks. And then B Street now is widened substantially from, from the VA hospital area down to Courtney. Uh, turn lanes in each direction, through lane, two lanes going out wow. towards Lockwood. And, uh, and, and it's, it's really dry when it rains now, and uh, you know we were able to utilize a lot of local lo local companies to help us out. Well, I was going to say that I know you're very pleased because a lot of local companies were involved, including minority contractors. That's correct. Uh, German Technical did the mast arms. Uh, Manning and Sons was the, our trucker, our key one of our key guys for the trucking, and uh, we had uh, several other local companies uh, in the Charleston area. True Luck did the paving. Uh, Hart Tim Crump from Hardscapes with the nice granite curbs down here that the city city specked out and uh, just a lot of we, we tried to really go local we had a chance to use some other ones but we stuck with the local guys and it made it a lot helpful because we were able to you know we were working night and day out here our guys uh, really did a great job um, most of them uh, you know they, they were down here day in and day out working nights and weekends so you know trying to minimize the impact and get something done because it's, it's hard to get something done down here digging the road up with all these pedestrians, all this traffic. So we spent many a nights and many weekends uh, down here working in well, off hours. Well, good for them. And I bet uh, you're very proud of this project. Oh, yeah, they, yeah, the guys, the, the fellas, uh, the, the, the guys and the girls uh, and all the all the companies, uh, they all did a great job. And uh, they really worked hard. And, uh, and they're the ones that, that dealt with these neighbors around here. We had some great neighbors on this project. Yeah. Uh, it was one of the... I've done a lot bigger projects and a lot longer projects over my career in the Charleston area, but I don't think I've ever had the cooperation of so many different government entities. We had Charleston, City of Charleston, Charleston County, the South Carolina DOT, we had VA, the Veterans, we had uh, MUSC, we had the MUSC, and there's just a ton of folks, and it, and it was a team effort. We all wanted the same thing to get done as quickly as possible. And it was done in good spirits. That's right. There were a lot of traffic alerts as well, and, and I know that the public relations people with the various hospitals in this community assisted Gulfstream. And uh, we want to find out more about how that worked to keep everybody happy on this project. And you'll hear more about that from Patrice Smith in just a moment.